in order that they signed up. Cliff Newman. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, Council, my name is Cliff Moon, 2925 8th Street Court, Northeast Hickory, North Carolina. I rise to speak to you tonight, um, and first I think I need to make a disclaimer. Uh, because I have several public roles in this, in, th at this time, I want to make a disclaimer, first of all, that I don't stand before you tonight as a uh, member of a political party and as the head of that party in this county. I do not stand before you tonight as a candidate for public office either. Uh, but I do stand before you as a citizen of Hickory, as a person who uh, appreciates the work of this council and the things that you do, uh, and the things that you are looking to do as we go forward. I stand tonight uh, and stood one time before uh, when Mr. Berry presented the budget to speak uh, in regard to inspiring spaces. And so I do, I do so again tonight because as a person who is running for public office, I'm not able to write a letter and to the newspaper at this particular point in time. And as such, I can't write on any subject that says why I support inspiring spaces and what I'm doing. I would like to, uh, I read somewhere that the glory of old men, and I'm quickly in that, prop, uh, that age group, is to be able to plant trees under which they may never sit. And I hope, though, that in this case, there are trees and benches and lots of other things, including playgrounds, that I get a chance to uh, at least sit on, if not do too much else with at this time in my life. But I, I do want to stand and tell you a quick story. I came here to Hickory in 1988. I came to pastor a relatively small church here a mainline church that had struggled through a number of years of decline at the time. And when I got here, uh, right before sort of the boom of the 90s, uh, I, uh, as pastors are wont to do after they start settling in, I started walking around the church and looking at things. And one day I was downstairs and I found a bell, a church bell. It was tarnished, kind of, oh, it was definitely old, it had been around a while. And it came from one of the churches that had joined together when this church was planted over in Northeast Hickory. I immediately began to think, what could we do with the bell? The bell shouldn't be down here in the basement. It should be up somewhere. And of course, I took it to my board and I went to the board and I said, we need to do something with the bell. And of course, being boards, like councils and other things, there, was, there were people who thought, this is a great idea. Let's build a bell tower. And I was all for that. I was pushing the bell tower. And, the, and the, But there were others who said, I just don't think we're too small right now. We don't have the money. We don't have the ability to do this. And I just don't know where we're going to get it. Well, we kept discussing it until we came to a consensus. And we began building the bell tower. <coughs> Prior to building that bell tower, very few people walked in off the street on a Sunday morning to Church of the Master. A few times, yes, we had visitors and things like that, but very good. But the moment we started building something together, doing something, rising up something that could ring out who we were and what we were there for, people started coming. A church that when I got there, and I don't take a lot of credit for this, but was 56 people by the time in 1995 that I left that church, uh, though stayed in Hickory, was a church of... Uh, over 160 people at that time. That's not a huge church by many of the standards around here, but it was an exciting growth. And that's why I'm for inspiring spaces. And I'm for letting people, the people, have a referendum to let you know how they feel. Because I believe in referendums. I also believe you in your making decisions. But I know that when we do things, when we go up and stand up and start doing something new, People will come. I'm not going to quote the, the movie. But it will be a, a good thing. And as I've served on Inspiring Spaces committees and on Innovate Catawba, I've seen the ideas. Now, I can't say I'm for every idea that's been put out there. And I will challenge them when I believe, so you know I will. But, but I want to tell you, and I want to say to this body, because it's the only way I can say this publicly now, is I'm with you. I am for this. I hope you are for it. I hope you are fully behind it. 
I think it will make our city a better place to live, work, and grow. Thank you very much. City Council, Mr. Berry, and Attorney Crone. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be heard uh, before you tonight. I will say to you that I'm taking a little bit different position than the first speaker, Reverend Moon, took on inspiring spaces. I really regret that I was not here at your last meeting when the elderly gentleman spoke about raising his taxes on his home to do the things that you want to do with inspiring spaces because he was on a fixed income and could not afford it. I will say to you that I have been disappointed within the last several years about how money by this city council was spent and city council not accounting for the expenditure of that money. I know that you have disbanded the Inspiring Spaces Committee because when you went to Charlotte to meet with the consultants, you found out as a city council that that committee could not exist and you do a referendum for the funding that you feel is needed for the inspiring spaces. I will say to you, all citizens of this city, and this includes me, are not dumb, stupid, and cannot hear and is blind and cannot read and acknowledge the things within ourselves that you are attempting to do. Yes, I'm blind, but I'm not dumb, and I'm not stupid. And what I know to be true is that you disbanded that committee, but once you do a referendum, if you do a referendum, that same committee will be reappointed because that's the only legal way that you can do it. Folk, I am tired as a citizen of this city, with you playing games with the cities to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish that may not be the best for this city. I've seen you do surveys of citizens about the swimming pools. It was voted by citizens in Northwest Northeast Hickory that they wanted a swimming pool in every quadrant of the city and a centrally located swimming pool, you paid for that survey. You paid those consultants to do the work. And then what did you do? You turned around because you got bit in the backside because you didn't expect those citizens to vote that way and put that on the shelf and it's somewhere on the shelf collecting dust. What else are you going to do? at the expense of citizens of our city. And then if it's not what you want, you're going to try to find another way to do whatever it is that you want to do. If you can't raise the taxes, then you're talking about doing a bond referendum to have every citizen in this city pay for a bond that Work may not be done within their communities to improve their communities, but they're going to have to pay for that bond. I will tell you, I will be the most outspoken person that ever existed to encourage citizens to vote against that bond. 
I would also be very vocal to encourage citizens to raise cane if you try to raise their taxes because we have so many senior citizens in our city that are property owners that cannot afford to have their taxes raised. So what I say to you is, you spent, you claim 500000 and some dollars for the sales on the square. Three minutes. You took the money that was designated for that parking deck and used it. And when that money was raised for that parking deck, which is much needed downtown, what's going to happen now for folk who come downtown to events and there's nowhere to park? When y'all had the beer festival down in Union Square a couple of weeks ago, there were cars parked all over the place downtown on every street within walking distance. So, folks, we're going to have to quit telling citizens we're raising money for one thing and then turn around and do something else with those funds. So, I would say to you, bond referendum, no. Raising taxes, no. You find another way to do what you want to do. Thank you. Well, yeah, uh, we want cars parked everywhere. We have to get down there. That's what we expect to happen if it's well received. But I would like to say, Mr. Moon, it's our inspiring spaces. It's not going to be mine. It's not going to be yours. And we're not going to. There won't be a single person who says that's exactly. It's going to be ours. It's going to be compromised. And every decision is going to be made in the best interest of the people of Hickory. If this council will look at it that way. What's in the best interest of the people of Hickory? We're not going to have payoffs. We're not going to buy people. It'll be what's in the best interest of Hickory.